everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Chris Tales. Last time we left off, we successfully got over the hump that we were stuck at. And now we can actually progress with the story, which I'm very excited about, so... Let's go ahead and go over here. We're supposed to follow the, uh, sisters or whatever. I think I will actually rest at this end. It's only Thank you. At you. Thank you, Innkeeper 2.0. I'm not running a charity here. He's gonna say it, and I don't understand why. Like, do we sleep in? I don't get it. I'm not Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, wow. Cinder looks uh, awful in the future. Also, what's with... What's with you? Why do you, like, ditch the armor and stuff? I don't get it. Hmm. Well, let's just go this way. Because this is where we have to go next, I'm assuming. We still don't have Christopher and stuff back, which saddens me greatly. Hello? What the heck? There's nothing here! They seem to have just... disappeared. Hold on! You have a talking frog? And you didn't mention it? A talking frog is like, in my top five animals I want to meet! My apologies for not introducing myself earlier, my dear. I am Matthias, at your service. Best talking frog ever! You are so adorable. You even have a tiny hat and everything. I can just eat you up. I mean, I won't, but I could. That's just how cute you are. Who's the cutest little talking frog in the whole world? You are. Ahem. Excuse me, Miss Zaz, but we should be focusing on the matter at hand. Listen to you! You are so adorable when you speak so properly. We should be focusing on the matter at hand. Ah, I love it! <laughs> you're, you're, ve you're very in love with Matthias. Right, so there's nothing here now, but in the past I see a grand castle. Something must have happened to it. I gotta say, so far, um, I think Christopher and, and Zass are probably some of the more interesting and emotive characters. Uh, I'm not gonna say that Chris Bell's boring, but she doesn't have, like, a lot of personality traits. Like, I'm not saying we need, you know, just, like, overflowing personality traits for every character, but, like, it seems like everyone kind of has a person- a big personality trait, except for Chris Bell. Chris Bell's kind of just, like, I don't, I don't know, nice? Maybe- maybe that's the personality trait, but, like, Wilhelm's a dick. Christopher's, uh, likes ladies, and, uh, is a, a good dude a lot of the time, uh, and apparently is- has been showcased as being dumb, but that's mostly just by Wilhelm. Um, and then Zass is like, oh, I'm quirky and weird and everything, but Chris Bell doesn't really have a lot going on. Very- it feels very main character-y, Chris Bell. But yeah, I think Christopher and Zass are probably my favorite so far, just because they're very emotive and interesting. Okay, well, we can go talk to them. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm a frog. Don't eat me. <laughs> it worked! This castle will be remembered as one of our greatest marvels. The cycle of time, from start to end. Set the sequence, and the castle ascends. The cycle of time, from start to end. Set the sequence, and the castle ascends. It's such a catchy riddle. Okay, so we just have a simple combination puzzle. Is what I'm getting here. Uh, so set the cycle. Okay, so wait, we only had to talk to one of them. They had two, but I guess they probably both said the same thing. Um, symbol representing dawn appears. Okay, so dawn... Um, are we going in clockwise order or counterclockwise? What? Hmm. Let's see. Can we look at anything in the future? Uh, no, there's not really anything in the future. What about. So you just have that one. So we just know where that one goes. 
So maybe we are going counterclockwise, so night the symbol disappeared. We're at dawn uh noon Okay. Now let's do night here. This is what I'm supposed to do, right? Yes? No? No. Okay, back back here. Let's get that riddle again, why don't we? The cycle of time from start to end. One goes off, one goes in. It's such a catchy riddle. Wait, cycle of time from start to wait, that's different than what it was before. Cycle of time from start to end, one goes off, one goes in. One goes off, one goes in. Weird. The cycle of one goes off, one goes in. Um. Hmm. I mean, let's get rid of you. And what if we put noon up here? There we go. What's happening? Okay, so we were going, uh, we were going clockwise. We were not going counterclockwise. Weird to me that they had four. Like one of them is just blank. Do not be alarmed, citizens. I'm just rising the castle out of the ground. No big deal. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that would be incredibly shocking for a lot of people. You'd be like, whoa, our palace that is usually under the ground is now ascending. All right, new dungeon. I did, yeah, I rested and everything. Cool. <laughs> Look at the young version of them. Look at those nerds. Oh, that's the old version of them. Looks like the like weird rose thing kind of overtakes your face as you get older. But yeah, look at you nerds here. Look at them. Nerds. And we got all these other characters. Excuse me, do you have like an IV bag on your thing? Mother Superior? What is that? Who is that? I don't, I don't think it's any of the characters that's actually here. Yeah, because you're the one, you're the Mother Superior over there on the right. I guess you're the old Mother Superior, maybe? I don't know, we'll probably figure it out. Someone triggered the mechanism. What the? You! How did you find this place? I am so going to kill you. Please, please, don't kill anyone. Don't worry, they can't do it now. We've got their number. There's been enough bloodshed already. Arola, Lau, are you okay? If Arola were to die, it would become much more difficult to find a cure for Christopher. I recommend avoiding that outcome. What are you planning to do with her? We're interrogating her on behalf of the Empress. Not that it's any of your business. I've just been trying to help. I... Lies! I know you're doing something to our people. You're turning them into those monsters. That's it. I'm killing her. No, wait! parola has been working on a cure! Silence, girl. We know the truth. No, stop! That sick Sindarian man you gave the medicine to earlier? After you gave it to him, I saw his future change. To become feral. There's no way! It's true. Arola isn't making the goblins feral. I believe the medicine you got from the Empress works by rewinding time on the afflicted. It may seem to help them at first, but with too many doses. Lies! Why would the Empress do something like that? Well, she needs a... Uh, she needs an army. She must be trying to gather soldiers for her army. And she's using you and your medicine to do it! Y'all got played. It does appear to be the simplest explanation. We know she is preparing to attack. I've dedicated my life to finding a cure for Glass Lung. Please, if you'll just let me go. No more lies. It's finally time. 
Gally, don't. Don't tell me you believe all this nonsense, Volcano. Of course not. I just need some time to think. Something isn't right. I bet killing them would clear everything up. Not the smartest, are you, Gally? All of you, you're staying here as our guests tonight. And I won't be taking no as an answer. Well, cool. I've never got to stay in a palace before. Oh, wow. we are, It's actually a full rest. Now I feel stupid for paying for it, but whatever. Thank you. It's time for answers. If I don't like the answers, my sister gets to pick the next game. You won't like Gally's game. You, Time Girl, why did you come here? Our friend is sick. We were trying to find medicine for him. That's why we started looking for Arola. Unfortunately, I've already used all my prototypes. Besides, they only really work on Cinderians. I still need to refine my formula. So, what exactly do you need in order to perfect this recipe? I don't know. The truth is, I've hit something of a dead end. What I have now is incredibly time-consuming and expensive to make. If only Zero were still alive. You... you knew Dad? Oh my word. You're Zero's daughter? It's been so long. It's true, Arola. Zero adopted both Zaz and Kari many years ago. I'm sorry I never told you. He wanted to keep Zaz safe, so he asked me to keep it confidential. Quit it with the quaint reunions. What's the story? Zero, this girl's father and I, we were researchers. We were trying to find a way to cure Glass Lung, together. But he... he was killed. I'm guessing that's the character we saw when we looked in the past, the like older looking character. Maybe if I had access to Zero's old research notes, I could find something that would lead to a breakthrough. But they're long lost, somewhere deep in his laboratory at the forge. What if we went and found them for you? There's a river of lava blocking the path to the forge. And even if that wasn't the case, the place has become overrun with monsters. It's impossible. Maybe not. The people of Cinder do know a thing or two about crossing lava. It's not like a few monsters would stop these pests anyways. You mean... You can go. See if you can locate these research notes. I'll wait. Briefly. I want to see what comes of this. But she stays here. If you don't come back, Gally gets to play with her. Princess. Okay. Well, we gotta help you guys out. Oh, that's actually really interesting. I didn't notice that. In the current version of the future, yeah, uh, Arola's dead. For, I, I guess, Gally does get to play with her. Well, that was moderately terrifying. Yeah, I'd say so. So, are they related to Cinder's royalty in some way? We can infer that to be the case. Their concern for these citizens lends the theory additional credence. I am glad I decided to travel with you. This is an unusual and interesting situation. Human motivations are... unpredictable. What are we going to do in regards to our transport issue? Volcano said the Cinderians know how to cross it. Maybe we should go ask Azufra. Hmm. Zass seemed to, uh, have a reaction. Oh god, Hiccup. Have a reaction to that. I wonder if it's because Zero was mentioned? Yeah, could be. Alright, so... Where even is Azufra? I don't know. I'm realizing. Are, are, are you here? No? Oh, that's that character. Oh, probably to the left over here, right? Righto. Yeah, I think this is probably where you were, because this is where you were before. This is where your house is, right? Alright. Uh, 
yep, there you are. Oh, it's Christopher's friends. We lost sight of you after all that hubbub in the square. Speaking of which, where is that little speech reader, Christopher? Miss Venia, Christopher is... he is... Our companion has been struck down by illness. He's now taking a rest in one of the residences of the kingdom. Oh, no. I hope that doesn't derail our business with St. Clarity. And I see you have one of the Nomado with you. It's good to see you again, Zaz. <laughs> it's been a while, Fenny. I've told you already to stop calling me that. Just Finia is fine. <laughs> oh, I love seeing that reaction. Back again, I see. Did you acquire the medicine? Almost. We still need to gather some ingredients from the area around the forge. We've come to see if there's anything you can do to help us get past the lava. Hmm. Do you have access to a boat? An object that serves that purpose is available to us. I'll order one of the artisans in town to help you. I can have it outfitted with heat-resistant paneling so it can cross the lava. Are they going to ask questions about it being a giant shoe? Just tell them to ignore that fact. Seek out the Tacna just north of the main plaza and take this with you. Reforge permit. I'll be expecting you. Okay. I mean, you don't have to be so ominous and edgy about everything, Azufra. You know that, right? Like, look at past you. You look like a little dweeb. Why'd you become so edgy? Why'd you do that? Don't do that. Alright, so... Over here, then we gotta go to the north, right? The north. Cool. Alrighty, alrighty. You? You must be the outsiders, right? Azufra sent word you'd be arriving. You'd like me to upgrade your means of transportation, yes? That is correct. But it should be noted our vessel is somewhat non-standard. Totally non-standard. It's kinda, you know, a really, really big shoe. How do you even know? We haven't even actually shown it to you. I guess we mentioned it. What Zaz means is... No, actually she means exactly what she said. It's a really, really big shoe. I know it sounds weird, but uh, just trust us on this one. A giant floating shoe boat? Well, Azufra authorized it, so I guess let's add some plating to it. You look cool. I like your design. Magma plated shoe. Thanks a lot. We really appreciate the help. Oh man, what's her face is gonna be very mad at me, isn't she? Our uh our boat lady. You're welcome. Come back anytime. If you find the other shoe, I can make a matching pair. I'm sure she'll want that, actually. She doesn't have enough credit of the magma resistant plating. Now cross lava. She's gonna be like, what did you do to my shoe? Now my shoes don't match. This sucks. So she'll be like, go go get me, go match the shoes. Get another magma plated shoe. A statue of Azufra, the leader of the town. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to see what that was because I don't think we'd actually interacted with it before. So let's go ahead and get out of here. It feels good to be actually making story progress again and... Hey, now we can hit up uh, all of these magma boat spots. So let's see where these things take us. Uh, I just want to make sure there's nothing extra anywhere. I mean, obviously that's probably where we need to go. Seems like you can use. Yeah. Sure. All right, but is there other stuff? Is there optional stuff? There's like a bunch of different ways to actually get off here, but uh, or get on here. You want to land here? But yes. yeah, there's the spot. There was a bunch of different points to actually enter the lava, but I didn't see much reason to take any of them. Wait, what is the point in this? Why? Did you mean to hide an item here, but you forgot? Uh, I can only assume that's the case, because there like is no point coming over here, it seems. Unless it's like a later area or something. Oh well, let's just go in here. Do you want to land here, Chris? Yup. Yes. All right, get in there.
Well, this is a dungeon ass dungeon. Entering the Great Forge. Woo! I'm finally going to see Dad's laboratory! <laughs> what a weird feeling. Hmm, shake it off, Zas. You can do this. Will you be able to handle the emotional pressure? Just lots of memories in this place. Not all of them good. We need that medicine, though. Let's get going. Those research notes aren't going to find themselves. You'll be all right. We'll be with you. All right. So let's go ahead and get in here. Chris Bell, what do you um, want? To do? Nothing. nothing. All right. So we'll come back to that in a few minutes, probably, because we are only at 21 minutes right now. I thought that star would do something, like turn a turn the bridge or something. I thought they'd be like levers or some kind of thing to turn, but it seems like... No, that might be what it is, because those just aren't powered. Yeah, it's probably going to move this, this bridge, right? If I had to guess. Boom. Yup. Yup. Alright. Also, with this much lava just like kind of pouring around here, it would be so incredibly hot in this place that we'd probably die, so that's interesting. Um, hi. I'm going to murder your child in front of you. I hope you enjoyed. Alright, and you... Um... I think you're specifically resistant to magic attacks, so I do think we just need to punch you to death. And luckily, as we've been over, JKR is built for magic attack and physical attacks because the stats are shared, so... Boy, we're busted. So, wow, when I have JKR and Christopher back, we're gonna be just a DPS machine. Chris Bell will just be like, I'll heal you guys, and you guys just murder everything. Okay, it doesn't move there, so I'm guessing we have to activate one of these to get it to... yeah. Actually, go to a different location. Um, yeah, and this just leads to this treasure chest. Cool. This g makes me, it reminds me of like a lot of dungeons in um, Tales of Symphonia specifically. Because there's a lot of dungeons that are like this, they're like a big factory, basically. So it gives me, it gives me big those dungeon vibes, basically. Oh, hi, you're new. Amber Mooka. Well, I will now stab you to death. Oh wow, you actually did die. Interesting. Well, and you're gonna die pretty quickly too. And yeah, you do 181 damage a punch now, which is high. Like, Zass basically doesn't even need to be here. But, whatever. I'm also in the weird spot where I've like bought everything I care about from the shops in this particular area, so that's an interesting feeling. Wait, does this just lead back? This is just the way back, isn't it? Yes. Alright, so we've got this over here now. We can go ahead and hit you up. Yes. Alright. And let's just walk over here and see what we got. Cool, cool, cool. Ah. How dare you. Uh, oh, just you guys. Um, boom, boom. Dead. And unluckily for you guys, I will now zap you all to death. So, Bye-bye. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. So, good old progress. Oh my god, hi! Jump scare in my JRPG? It's more likely than you think. Um, do I have to revert that? Uh, I was really not prepared for that. <laughs> that actually kind of got me. <laughs> I, just, I don't know, that's just not something you expected. Game like this, jeez. Okay. Thanks for giving me a mild heart attack. Sundarian Bracer. Yeah, that was one I was actually kind of looking at. Um, Unfortunately, we'd have to put it over one of these things, and I'm just... Uh... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's here. Okay, so... Extra magic defense and stuff. 
Um, I mean, it's not worth taking this off because we'd lose so much attack if I did so. So, yeah, sure, you can have it. There you go. You lose speed, but you gain defense and magic defense. Yeah. You, you never get turns anyway, so it likely doesn't matter. We're in another fight. Luckily, these enemies are piss easy. So, um... We don't really have a lot to worry about. I will now punch this child. Goodbye, child. Alright. And a lot of uh, marbles and everything. Seems like the XP is higher here, too. Which is nice. This looks like a big ol' elevator. Probably quit once we get to the next save point. Access to floor two is permitted. Why, thank you. I don't know why we're permitted, but thank you. We don't even have a key card or anything. Oh, I was about to say, are we gonna have elevator battles? Of course we are. Why would I even ask that question? This is very nice that those guys die so quickly. All right, um, can you die please? Both of you, preferably? No, the slime was only stunned, and the... Yeah, and now you split up. Great! Exactly what I wanted. They're gonna strength buff too? Yep. Yeah, those goblins took a lot of damage, actually. Okay, hopefully this is enough to finish both of the slimes and you off. Nope, they're just gonna split up again now. Great. So we're just gonna have about a billion slimes to deal with. Just what I always wanted. Big damage. Um, could you kill this enemy? That would be just- oh, no, nope, you just made them confused. Okay, well. Thanks, I guess. Thanks for nothing. Boom. Sorry, children. Okay, you're confused, so... Oh, cool, you hit yourself. Neat. Well, now I will put you out of your misery. Goodbye. Alright, that was pretty easy. Big XP, too, I imagine. There were a lot of enemies. Yeah, 476. Pretty good amount of XP. Man, it sucks, because now when I get Christopher back, too, Christopher's gonna be, like, a lower level than everyone else. How unfortunate. Whatever. At least he- ah! Could you stop? Could you stop that? I would really enjoy it if you just didn't. This place is not up to OSHA standards. Jeez. I mean, it has been sitting here abandoned for a very long time, so... <laughs> I suppose it makes sense. Okay, this was just a dead end. Great. Yep, that's exactly what I- what I thought. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh... Can you kill the goblin air? Uh, not quite. Um, we can punch you to death, though. Because I'm not dealing with all your stupid young... Again. I'm just gonna finish you off quickly this time. You're real cute. You're real cute. Ow. Alright. But, uh... Now's the time where you two go zippity-zap. And you're stunned, so Chris Bell will now stab you to death. Bop, bop. Cool. Ba, ba, ba. Mana potion and a flask of feathers. I will be very happy when I get Christopher back, I must say. Zass is just like not doing anything. I'm just super surprised at how slow the character is. Like you wanna you wanna make it so I probably don't use a character in a JRPG? Make them slow as shit, and I probably won't even pay attention to them. I'm really big on speed in JRPGs. It's just so nice getting to have more turns. You know, I usually find the best builds you do usually focus on uh, speed in most JRPGs. So, yeah. Having a character that's slow and just doesn't get turns a lot is just so frustrating. Really limits the character, and she doesn't really do a lot to make up for the fact that she's incredibly slow. Like, most of her abilities just aren't good, aren't consistent, or are actively a detriment. So it's like, eh? Wow. Well, I guess we'll go 
talk to you. Oh wait, no, we're not. We can't actually access you. Never mind. It's so rude that the ground will just randomly fall out beneath me. Okay, let's go ahead and restore that. Don't let that happen again. All right, let's get back up here. Treasure, and we can activate the heart. Cool. Gimme. Signet of Wealth. Oh, hey, we finally got one of those. Um... Oh, cool, I don't have one to put on you anyway. Yeah, and yeah, you're like the best one to wear this. Because I, I wouldn't even, even if I did get you a, uh... Uh, I forget which signet it was that you would wear. Um, even if I don't get you that one, even if I did get you that one, I wouldn't put it on you because it's not really useful to have extra stats on you. I don't really use you for actually attacking. So yeah, that is, uh, the best case scenario right there. Plus, I didn't have to drop 40,000 big ones on it, so... That is nice. I will take that. 10% more orbs isn't, like, the most groundbreaking thing in the world, but considering Chris Bell didn't have anything on beforehand anyway, it's... Pretty nice little, uh, little thing to grab there. Ah! Okay, well, hi. Yo, what's up? Why are you down here? <sighs> it sure is hot in here. At least I'm built with ventilation. Looking for anything to refresh you? Uh, no, I'm good, actually. But what do you have? You still have your exorbitantly priced, uh, exorbitant? Exorbitantly priced, I, I don't know why, is it exorbitantly priced tense? Like, I know about, I know, I know the word exorbitant, but what's the, like, the, 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 the other version of it? I'm, I don't know, man, my brain is, I, I don't know what's going on with it right now, but I'm like, let's see, let's see. <laughs> exorbitantly priced? It, it must be that, right? I, I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening with me right now. It's kind of really early. It is uh, currently 7 a.m. Um, that I'm recording. And I've been recording since basically uh, 1 a.m. today. Um, so I've been up for a while. I, I basically woke up super early because I couldn't sleep and I was like, I'm just gonna go get some recording done. And probably like after this video, I will, um, Go, uh, oh geez, forgot about that, whoopsie. Uh, probably after this video, I'll go... ...and, uh, sleep. So... Let's go ahead and bop you some water. Man, this, this synchro takes, like, forever to go off. Boom. Boom. Double water. That attack does actually do quite a bit of damage, but it is a synchro, so it makes sense. That it would do a ton of damageio. Uh, oh yeah, we do get this now. Boom. And it barely costs anything, too. That's the crazy part. Usually when you have those skills in the JRPG, it's like, oh yeah, no, that, that shit's gonna be priced to really mess you up. But, uh, not the case here, actually. Mostly because our MP bars are massive. We have copious and copious amounts of MP. Um, where... oh boy, there's a whole second layer to this shit. I did not pick up on that fact at all. Oh boy. Boy. This place is a maze. Uh, how is How would it have been efficient to work here? What were you doing, Zero? Why did you, why did you make your factory that's supposed to be efficient and have good production a maze? It just seems like a horrible idea. It's like, oh man, we gotta. Seems the energy is back. We gotta. I gotta get back. I gotta get to the other side of the factory. Guess I gotta walk across this maze and go hit that moon switch that I put all the way on the left side, just so I can use a platform that's on the right side. <laughs> it's like, I know it's just a JRPG dungeon layout, but it's just funny when you see things like this, and it's like. Huh, the actual in-world explanation for this place is it's supposed to be a factory. How would someone work in this place? How would someone work in this place? It wouldn't work. I wouldn't work here, that'd be shit. Of course, I 
wouldn't want to work in a factory if I could help it, period, so... Guess I'm not really the, uh, target audience here, but... God, it'd be a real pain in the ass. It's like, oh, yeah, whew, time to go to the break room. You know, it's really hot in this place. I just gotta walk ten miles and hit two switches to actually get to the break room, and by that point, my break's already over. <laughs> oh. Uh. Alright, treasure chest, I did a lot of work for you. You better be good. Another one, huh? Well, um... I don't really give a shit about the stats on you anyway, so take it. There we go, we have two of them now, so that, assuming they stack, we'll have 20% increased marble income now. Uh, which will be cool. Which will be cool. Very happy about that, very pleased with myself. I don't know why Zero was hoarding all these signets of wealth, but... I mean... His loss, my gain, right? I mean, he's not using it, you know, being, you know, dead and all. Sorry, his ass. <laughs> Wonder if he was the only one that actually worked in this factory, or did, or did he actually have workers? Because it seems like a kind of massive factory for Can one person. Um, go to floor one, go to the laboratory, yeah. There's probably going to be a boss fight up here, right? But I'm assuming there's also going to be a save point. Uh, hi. Wow, are you sure this is like the big elevator battle you want us to have? This is nothing. Look at these poor things. Look. Bop. One punch. Done. One punch man. There we go. JKR just gave him the old serious punch. Okay. Now we're up here. Oh, cool save point. Thank you. I really appreciate that, actually. Is this just leading back to the... You know what? No, I don't need to be exploring any of this shit. There's a character over there. Sorry. Chris Leave that for next what time. I want, to I want to record our progress. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Chris Tales, and I'll see you next time for some more.